as many of you people know that you play Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5, a lot of players are angry with Rockstar and they've dressed up as clowns in the protest of Red Dead Redemption 2. GTA 5 has updates, Red Dead Redemption 2 hasn't had an update for uh, nearly seven months now. What's going on with Rockstar? Are they too busy focusing on GTA 5 remastered in VR on the PlayStation 5, making that, are they getting it ready for 2021? I can't understand why, when the PS5 comes out, they won't want to bring out GTA 5 Remastered from PS4 and Xbox One and PC. It's the same game. They want to remaster it. Why don't they just bring it out on the day? Obviously, Rockstar have made enough money and they don't want to make money doing it for business. Or you would have thought they'd push the game out straight away. But why don't they make Red Dead Redemption 2 into VR on the PlayStation 5? They're doing GTA 5 into VR. Why don't they put GTA 6 in VR? And GTA 4 and VR as well. Is there going to be animals on GTA 5 on the PlayStation 5? Is there going to be new missions? Is it going to be the same boring missions and drip threaded and drip feeding cars all the time? Is there going to be new properties? This is what people are going to be asking. Why can't they remaster all the old games that Rockstar have done? Why can't they bring the, the Agent game back a bit like LA Noir? They made LA Noir into VR and then Rockstar is saying they're teaming up with. Uh, the people at the creators of LA Noir to do a VR GTA 5. What on earth is going on? Does Rockstar actually care about the fans? Obviously not. That's how it feels to a lot of people. And a lot of people are getting sick and tired of Rockstar games. I mean, there's a game coming out called. Uh, I like them. Um, so lots of people are, are fans of the Assassin's Creed games by Ubisoft. Ubisoft Assassin's Creed games. Um, made Watch Dogs, made Assassin's Creed, and made other games as well. I can't remember, remember what other games Ubisoft have made, they've made loads of games. What I'm saying to you is, they backdated in one of the, the Watch Dogs game to focus on Assassin's Creed Hollow game. That's the same game, what looks like Last Kingdom on Netflix. It's going to be in Wessex, the, the uh, Assassin's Creed Hollow game. New England. The new, the new Watch Dogs is going to be in London. And you can see most of the London borough areas. Uh, Brexit, even though Brexit's over now. I like to think to myself that uh, if Ubisoft can bring out their games for the fans, why can't G pick the creators for Rockstar? Why do you think Len Lenzi Benzi and Dan Hauser left Rockstar? Because they're probably sick and tired of them not bringing out better DLCs. We've had DLCs, what people like. Then everything just seems to be slowing down with Rockstar. What are they trying to do? Are they trying to save up all these DLCs from GTA 5 onto the new gen and not bring them on the PS4, Xbox One and PC? Why can't Rockstar tell us what's going on? Loads of people have got Twitch Prime, that doesn't matter. Rockstar are keeping us all in the dark, it's very annoying. Uh, why can't Rockstar make more games like Ubisoft? I mean, imagine if Ubisoft and Rockstar teamed up as people. Would the games be better? Would it be worse? I don't see it happening now. Something's not right with Rockstar at the minute. Sam Hauser uh, left Rockstar, so did Lindsay Benzi. Dan Hauser, is it, uh, hold on a minute. Dan Hauser and Lindsay Benzi left Rockstar. Sam Hauser's still in Rockstar. Dan Hauser's brother. Will he leave and somebody else will replace, his, replace him? When people leave from Rockstar companies, do people have to have other people employed to fill in the spaces and the gaps? Who knows? I just don't know what Rockstar are playing at. Loads of people want the San Andreas game from the PS2 to be remastered and put into the new GTA 5 on the PlayStation 5. Not the GTA game that we're playing today with Michael, Franklin and Trevor. I'm talking about I'm talking about the very old San Andreas and a lot of people like Mr. Boss for the Wind. The Vigis put that video up. Saints fan has made a video of it and said he wants this to be remastered and brought back. Why don't Rockstar listen to the the players and the people in the community what want these things? You know, they don't just say it for nothing. They, they want, they're want trying to help you. You want to make money in your thing, Rockstar, all you seem to be interested in your company of 2K games is the shark cards. That's all you seem to care about. That's very disappointing for a lot of people. You would have, They would have thought you would have been more interested in just the gameplay, making things more interesting, especially with the pandemic going on with the coronavirus. You could have at least brought more DLCs out, like the police DLC. Or mansions, what people have asked me for. Obviously, you don't want to do that 
you don't want to help the people that's how it feels and I'm sorry if I'm sounding a bit harsh and a bit rude the way I'm saying things a lot of people are annoyed and red dead because there's no new updates you don't expect to sell us a game and we buy it and buy all the add-ons the golden bars and the shark cards from GTA 5 and then don't update the game or putting silly adversary modes and car racing in all the time why don't you put different things in the game why don't you put barns in, G uh, in Red Dead Redemption 2 so you can buy them you could have at least announced Red Dead Redemption 2 on PlayStation 5 in that, in that conference thing why don't you mention the agent game why don't you, what you should have done is I'll tell you you should have talked about GTA 5 remastered on PlayStation 5 and PS4 and Xbox One and uh, we know it was on the PS3 and the Xbox 360 what you should have done was right we're making GTA 6 now we're going to go through all these GTAs and show you all the histories what we've made so far even though GTA 6 is coming out we're going to put GTA 5 with GTA 6 as a as a extra bundle that's what you should have done and with that it comes GTA 4 if you would have done that a load of people would have been very happy with you but all you did is wanted to show an old trailer from 2013 or 2011 no effort in the trailer that's what's annoyed a lot of people but you don't care do you if you really cared what we thought you would have changed it by now unless you are bringing out GTA 6 and this is just a cover up at the moment to make you think make us think that you're not working on it you just work on GTA 5 as well so what's it going to be Rockstar and 2k games and the people that are behind all these things people like your games they respect your games but at least have a bit of respect for your fans and see what they want in the games also it's not difficult it's not hard anyway thanks for joining me in this video hope you all enjoyed it and uh, see you next one peace